fellow Nigerians, it is exactly three decades today that Nigerians went to the polls to exercise their inalienable right to elect a president of their choice to lead the transition from military dictatorship to a representative government of the people. The abortion by the military fiat of the decisive victory of Chief M.K. Abiola of the defunct Social Democratic Party in the June 12, 1993 presidential election. Up to that time, the fairest and the freest election in the country's political evolution turned out, ironically, to be the seed that germinated into the prolonged struggle that gave birth to the democracy we currently enjoyed since 1999. Fellow compatriots, we celebrate a day that has remained a watershed in our nation's history, not just today, but for every June 12, for the endless future that our beloved country shall exist and work stronger and stronger. Generation of Nigerians will always remember themselves that the democracy that is steadily going to become the defining essence of our polity was not gifted to us on a silver platter. It is for this reason that in my inauguration address on May 29, I gave effect to the decision taken by my predecessor in office to remove the fuel subsidy, the abattoirs, and the free up the collective use of much needed resources, which had hitherto been pocketed by a few rich. I admit the decision we impose extra body on the masses of our people. I feel your pain. This is one decision we must be able to save our country from going under and take our resources away from the stranglehold of a few unpatriotic elements. Painfully, I have asked you, my compatriots, to sacrifice a little more for the survival of our country, for your trust and belief in us, I assure you that your sacrifice shall not be in vain. The government I lead will repay you through massive investment in transportation, infrastructure, education, regular power supply, healthcare, and other public utilities that will improve the quality of lives. The democracy M.K. Abiola died for is one that promotes the welfare of the people over personal interests of the ruling class and one where the governed can find personal fulfillment and happiness. That is the hope MKO Abiola ignited throughout our country in 1993. On this year's Democracy Day, I enjoy us, all of us, to rededicate ourselves to strengthening this form of government of free people that has been our guiding light these past 24 years. In particular, those of us who have been privileged to elect into public office at various levels in both the executive and legislative arms of government, must recommit ourselves to offering selfless service to the people and delivering concrete democracy different in accordance with our electoral promises. On my part and that of my administration, 
I pledge anew our commitment to diligently fulfilling every component of our electoral pact with the people, the Renew Hope Agenda. We shall be faithful to truth, faithful to equity, and faithful to justice. We shall exercise our authority and mandate to govern with fairness, respect for the rule of law, and commitment to always upholding the dignity of all our people. On this note, I wish us a happy Democracy Day celebration and pray that the light of liberty shall never be extinguished in our land. Thank you all, and may God continue to bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.